Excuse me, have you perchance seen any evil spirits? Oh, my apologies. You're not from around here, are you? This question must sound a little confusing to you. I'm Chong Yun, a local exorcist from Liu. Those versed in the arts of exorcism refer to all forms of demons and monsters as evil spirits. Evil spirits have existed since ancient times. They lurk among the shadows in the lands of Liyue, stirring up all sorts of trouble and mischief. It is my duty to exorcise or destroy them, and protect the citizens here from their evil doings. It's work that must be done, much like any other job. That's all. Sorry, I digress. Judging from your response, it seems you aren't well versed in the realm of evil spirits. But that's understandable. If I may ask, have you happened to come across anything strange recently? Sometimes even the most trivial matters prove helpful in my hunt for evil spirits. Oh, I see. Well, fair enough. In that case, I guess I'll just have to try my luck with the clues I already have. <sighs> Only some scattered reports, really. Nothing too significant yet. But if you're interested, I can tell you about some of the more useful ones I've gathered so far. I read a flyer that said, The test of courage is now being held on Wu Wang Hill. Bring your best friend and test your courage together. Then, recently, the sounds of footsteps and shouting have been heard outside people's windows at night. The noises have frightened the children and they are unable to sleep. And a huge shadow has appeared in Guili Plains. It flies and swirls, summons down fireballs, and makes all sorts of strange noises. Cases such as these might actually be worth our attention. I think something strange must have happened at the Test of Courage. I guess this so-called test is supposed to be like a test of metal. Its purpose must be to try the will and power of exorcists. <sighs> Do you think I'm not deciphering these clues correctly? So you don't think any of these clues are related to evil spirits? Uh, sorry. <sighs> Please give me a moment to calm myself. <sighs> no, it's fine. I've been this way since I was young. No, not at all. I guess you could say that I just tend to be... unstable. You know, emotionally. It causes me to become very uncomfortable at times. This tendency of getting stirred up easily is what people call a pure yang spirit. Yes, well, such a constitution is very rare. But it's a potent weapon for an exorcist. My constitution alone is capable of scaring off evil spirits. But I must constantly focus on my emotions. Otherwise, I may easily do something out of control. Anyway... I carefully selected these clues from an ocean of information. I can't believe they're all completely irrelevant. Oh no. I'm still feeling quite uncomfortable. There's heat growing in my chest. I... I... I can't breathe. No. I'll, I'll be alright. I, I brought some popsicles with me for just such situations. I, I feel much better now. Actually, they're quite tasteless. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stomach them. <sighs> Thank you for your concern. I'm fine now. But what should I do next if all these clues are irrelevant? Yes, I've noticed him too. It's no coincidence that we both noticed it. I'm sure he's watching us. But it doesn't seem he has any intentions other than looking at us. Perhaps there's something he wishes to tell us. Right. He might need our help. Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll leave now. No, please, relax. There's no need to worry. We're not here for trouble. We couldn't help but notice you standing here for a while and thought that you might have something on your mind. No, there's nothing on my mind. I just thought the thing you were eating looked tasty. 
My sister just loves food. She's always super happy whenever we get some tasty snacks. I'm her big brother and I should take care of her, but mom says we're too poor and she never lets me buy any snacks. Oh, you mean one of my popsicles? I'm afraid you wouldn't find them very tasty though. Oh, it doesn't matter. My sister's never had anything like that before. I know she'd be happy to try one. Hmm. Come to think of it, I've never had one either. I see. Hmm. That might be difficult. Well, I only have two popsicles left. These popsicles are very important to me, and I might need them if we encounter an evil spirit. Without them, I might not be able to control my constitution. Just give him one? Hmm, I suppose keeping the other for myself will be enough. You see, my young friend, these popsicles are very important to me. I'm afraid I can only give you one. That's okay. I don't need one. Just as long as my sister is happy. Thanks a lot. Whoa, it's already starting to melt. I excuse me, I better hurry back to Chihu Rock now. I never expected that something I used to suppress my yang energy would be so appealing to kids. Hmm. Anyway, back to our hunt for evil spirits. Earlier it seemed like you could easily discern which clues were most credible. You must truly be a knowledgeable and seasoned adventurer. I still have numerous clues from my friend which I haven't sorted through yet. With my limited experience, it's hard to tell whether they're reliable leads. If you'd be willing, could you please come and take a look with me? All right, let's go to Wanwen Bookhouse. Please, follow me. This is a note that I received from a friend. It has many clues about evil spirits on it. If we check the books here at Wanwen Bookhouse according to their respective clues on the note, we'll be able to find the complete details of each clue. Since you're here to help, I'll just read the clues to you and you can help me judge if they're credible or not based on your experience. All right, here are the first clues. At the foot of Mount Chingsa, is a violet grass that has turned into a gigantic, man-eating monster. Also, there's a ghostly shadow skulking about Feiyun's slope at night. It's suspected to be a vengeful spirit. And finally, lurking in Li Yue Harbor is a massive demon that was transformed from a popsicle. Huh. I've never encountered any such things before. Anyway, could you pick the one that seems most plausible and likely to be the work of evil spirits? Hmm, this is possible, but it sounds too similar to previous rumors. Many people often pass through Feiyun's slope, so perhaps it's just some sort of misunderstanding. Hmm, how about these clues? Deep in the Sea of Clouds, a marauding demon has been raiding commercial fishing boats and building a luxurious palace. Or, in Zhuiyun Karst, there's a piece of a thousand-year-old amber that has gained consciousness and now roams about causing trouble. And lastly, 
It's said that people often see a demon who loves eating chilies in Wan Min restaurant. This one does seem possible, but it also sounds like a tale from unverifiable sources. Plus, we don't have any means of investigating the deep sea either. Okay. Here are a few more clues. A strange man wearing a mask and wielding a pole was once seen in the distance around Gwaley Plains. There's something eerie about his presence. Or, someone saw an exorcist with blue hair who was actually a transformed demon. Wait, what? And finally, there is a vigilant demon adept at concealing itself in mist. Recently, people have found traces of it in Mingyun Village, Gwaley Plains, and Yao Guangzhou. Now that you mention it, I may have heard of this one. I've been trying to track it, but the spirit's so cautious that I don't think we'll ever have a chance of catching it unless it decides to show itself. It appears most of these clues are either not reliable or nearly impossible to investigate. It seems like there is little here that we can actually use. Oh, many of these are from my friend, Singcho. He's well-read and very knowledgeable. Not to mention, he's always willing to extend a helping hand. He always provides me with lots of reliable information. If it weren't for my pure Yang spirit, I would have already vanquished numerous demons because of him. I'm sure of it. I should find a chance to thank him personally. Yes, he always goes out of his way for me, but he never seems to mind and helps me all the same. Also, he often has something interesting to say. I'm quite glad that I get along with him. Sorry, I digress. I've found another snippet of information here. There aren't many details, but it clearly mentions Wu Wang Hill. If we include the Test of Courage rumor from before, there are already two clues pointing there. I've also noticed that the weather in Wu Wang Hill has been very abnormal recently. Let's go and have a look. We might just find something useful. All right. Let's head out and see what we can find. So, are you buying or not? This place seems quite ordinary. So ordinary that I don't even feel that it's worth investigating. Wu Wang Hill's unusual weather and peculiar surroundings are a source of constant rumors, most of which are untraceable and can never be proven. So, I suppose this could only be expected. I guess so. Like I mentioned before, my yang energy tends to just scare away evil spirits. You may think it's beneficial for me to have such a condition, and therefore there is no real need for me to practice thaumaturgy. But if I renounced my practice of thaumaturgy, and one day met an evil spirit that didn't fear my yang energy, then I may not be able to exercise it. If I merely spend my time training without actually putting it into practice, then how would I ever know the fruits of my labor or what skills I needed to improve? But to this very day, despite the many exorcisms I have performed, I have yet to see a single demon, not to mention one that I needed to defeat using thaumaturgy. <sighs> Sorry, I, I shouldn't rant like that. I'm fine. I've gotten used to such feelings. Since we're already here, let's go check the two locations mentioned in the clue.
this? I know this mist. It was left by some kind of evil spirit. It's very thick and never disperses. The evil spirit may have been here recently. Yes, it was not all in vain. But we mustn't act rashly. If this mist remains here, it can easily contaminate the area. Once it contaminates monsters such as Hillichurls, it could even make them more aggressive and dangerous to anyone nearby. Or if it happens to contaminate any adventurers passing by, the consequences would be unimaginable. My pleasure. Let's inspect the surrounding area to see if there's any more mist like this. Once we've cleaned up this mess, we'll continue forward. Remember, there might be danger ahead. We should be prepared for a fight. It's second nature to me. Exorcism is a solemn and serious matter. It's on me if you or anyone else gets hurt due to my negligence. There's no time to lose. Let's go. It appears there are evil spirits here, and not the weak variety. Let's keep going. I expected that there would be hilly chills here. Let's deal with them all. We mustn't let a single one escape. <sighs> These tracks are still fresh. It seems the evil spirit is on the move. The path ends here as well as the tracks. It'll be difficult to follow it any further. It must have sensed me as a threat from a long way off. That's why it ran with such haste. It seems that this is still not the kind of spirit that can overcome my abundant yang energy and fight me head on. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll continue tracking it for a few days. It won't dare show its face around here again. Yes. Defeating it once and for all would certainly make all this worth our efforts. Hmm? Why do you seem so disappointed? No, quite the contrary. Not only did we clean up the traces of the evil spirit, but we also took care of those monsters. We've done our jobs as exorcists. My only regret is that I didn't get to drive it away using my thaumaturgy. But I'm already prepared to spend my life chasing this goal so I do not regret such disappointments. Of course. I'd never wish for you to be in low spirits on my account. Actually, I also wanted to thank you for not leaving me, even with my special condition, and for helping chase the evil spirit to the very end. Even if we'd ended up running into an incredibly strong demon, I would have felt much safer with an experienced adventurer like you by my side. Well, I appreciate it. Oh, it seems the weather is starting to clear up over there. Let's go have a look. Hmm. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about after all. Even though I didn't come face to face with that evil spirit, at least I met you. Oh, no, uh, that came out wrong. What I'm trying to say is, we shouldn't focus only on the gains and losses of our journey. The things you see and the events you encounter along the way are equally important rewards. <laughs>